Tony Kane came on and said, um, you know, I've got a, a low oil pressure light, what do I do? And we said, I think it'd be a good idea to switch it off. And uh, he checked a few things around the car and it would appear that uh, uh, perhaps the oil pump drive or something has, has uh, failed. So uh, it was a good, a good decision to turn it off anyway. We talked about the MG uh, connection, of course, as we just watch uh, someone else spinning out. This rain just getting worse and worse again. There we go, doing little damage, apart from taking a number of cones out. That looked like it was down at Mulsanne. But, uh, Hugh, uh, not just Chamberlain Engineering, of course, your company, but the whole might of MG Sport behind you now. And uh, I guess there's a lot of people watching us tonight, listening to you, and uh, what, what message have you got for all the people who've supported you? Keep supporting us. Very good <laughs> idea. No, we're all in favour of that. Um, the, uh, the the MG guys have been tremendous, and um, they are uh, no fools when it comes to uh, motorsport. But then they don't profess to be experts, and they've come to us and said, um, you yeah, know, could we uh, could we take on this, the running of the cars? And we're very very proud to have been uh, been asked to do so. And obviously, uh, Martin Moran and, and Lola and his, his staff at Lola produced the car, um, and uh, we're looking after it. But it's it, there are an awful lot of people behind this project, an awful lot of people, and uh, it's a it's a great uh, a great fillip for us because we've been scrabbling around with cars, as you well know, for the, for many many years, and uh, to actually find that we have engine people doing engines and chassis people doing chassis and is, is a bit of a surprise to us. It's a bit new. It means you've had more than one weekend off this year, does it? Absolutely not. No, I'm running uh, Vipers in the British series yes. with, with uh, Liz Rose and Hales. Yes. Um, so I'm, I'm uh, fully employed, as they say. But let's talk about this engine. Let's yeah. be brutally frank. A lot of people said a two-litre turbo could not possibly last at, at Le Mans nowadays. And uh, many people wondered why you did that rather than stayed with the proven, proven Nissan V6. What was the reasoning? Because it's an MG. <laughs> um, MG have produced an engine. They've, they have done... Uh, what BRM and Ferrari have done in formula racing over the many, many years and decided that um, if they're going to do it, they're going to do it themselves. And they didn't rely upon somebody else's engine. They didn't rely upon buying another engine in from anywhere. They've been uh, they, and, and, uh, and designed and built with uh, the guys at AER. They've designed and built this engine for MG. And uh, they, dis they made the decision. It wasn't, obviously, it wasn't our decision. It was the... the the Lola MG people who decided on it. Hugh, we're just going to go and talk to one of the opposition. Stay with us because we're going to come back to you in a moment. You're running right up there with all these cars. We're going to talk to Henri Pescarola of Courage. Henry.